Hi, I'm Rick Dior, and that was Swan's song from the book Adventures in Solo Drumming by William Scheinstein. This solo is dedicated to Bob Swan, who played at the Radio City Music Hall in the uh, 50s and 60s. So this solo is pretty difficult, not one of the hardest ones in the book, but just like the previous solo, Phil's Phil, it has lots of syncopations and tricky stickings. Once again, you want to pay attention to the accents here. They're not always where you think they should be. Now, uh, this solo does have some left-handed uh, four-stroke roughs like this. So uh, you're going to want to practice those. The last solo, Phil's Phil, had one of those as well. Now, the difficult part of this solo begins at letter B. And remember, this solo is in 3-4, as you'll see here. When I put it up on the screen. So you want to be thinking that pulse. And there's some tricky stickings as well as flambertiments here. Let me play this for you at quarter note equals 100. One, two, three. So you see this last um, bar of B or bar before C, that's the trickiest bar, slowly. So one, two E and a, three E and a. Make sure you play that particular sticking. And then at C we have these connected rolls. This isn't too bad. We'll play this slow for you as well. One, two, three. And now I'll play it fast for you at the tempo. And by the way, I'm playing this at 114, which is just a hair faster than the 112 written tempo. One, two, three. So you see how I'm coming down to the edge of the drum for those rolls. And this is a rudimental solo, so all those rolls should be played open. Finally, at D, we have these syncopated figures, these upbeats. These give a lot of my students problems, playing them even. So uh, you're going to want to practice this slow as well. But up to tempo, with the 16th, it sounds like this. One, two, three. Okay, so that's, that's the way you want to do it. You want to subdivide it so you get all that stuff in time. And the drags, they're kind of an afterthought. When you're playing, don't think about the drags. Just fill in with them. You know, but think about the primary notes, which are these syncopated upbeats. So I hope you enjoyed Swan Song. We'll be back next time with the next solo in the book.